Hey, Bino. Yeah, it's Bino Black, folks, and a little bit more of the fact for you here, because this is just so factual. Now, remember, relax a little bit on this, because this is a quasi shadowy, you know, organization. You go try to look up who owns it and so forth, and you're going to end up, you know, well, maybe they really do, but there's other things, because this video is going to make you want to puke. Now, remember, the federal government and everything to do with America, you know, they're keeping you safe. Remember that, you know. And this film crew, this film crew, just, I don't know why they would focus on, there's a tragedy going on, and they just focus on flags, okay? The winner of the race has already come by. They're getting their nice bean footage here, because anyway, it's the internet, and it's YouTube, and we get to see the facts. Now, you watch it. This camera's going to focus on this flipping flag here, and also it's got these flags in. And we got an explosion. There's people dying. Legs are coming off. And God bless all. I mean, there's three lives. Hey, there's an eight-year-old kid dead, for Christ's sakes. That's why you should really be mad at the idea that this film crew doesn't get arrested. Okay? Actual factual. Okay? Because this film crew is only interested in flags. Now, remember, it's a quasi-organization. Forget this. It doesn't really matter. It's never going to match up. It's always the black box. Black boxes. There's always a black box. Spe spies, flies on every nation in the world. Okay? This is the actual factual footage that you're going to see. And he's going to focus on these flags and also a flag that's somewhere else. And you're going to also notice that he focuses in on this flag here. And he's focusing on this flag here. Or she. Could be a female also. Now, remember, this film crew could end up being, you know, kidnapped and duct taped and tie wrapped and, you know, uh, I'm an electrician. Could be tie wraps, you know. Uh, so, zip ties, who knows where this crew is at. But no matter what, this crew is pretty damn smart of knowing that the idea that we've got an international event going on. And that's all they can do with all the skirmishing and all the problems going on during this footage the only thing they can do is focus on flags. Okay? So let's watch the actual factual. Here we go in real time. The explosion. He doesn't even, you know, jerk the camera much or anything. But now what's he do? He's focused on flags all the way. Or she. Male or female, this photographer, the only thing that this thing can do, this person, this humanoid, this is not a remote control. All it can do is focus on flags and now it's looking for it was told to shoot up high shoot a flag up high that's what it was told to do now look look at the steeple it's shooting a flag way up high in the steeple check that out why is it looking at the steeple why was this film and now he's looking at a flag that someone propped up on a building and then he goes back to the flags is he looking for injured people is he's looking for the travesty of the event he's focusing on flags He's focusing on flags. He's focusing on flags. Now, I'm going to play it back. I'm going to go back to the 50-second mark. It's flags. The only thing this guy's concerned about is flags. Is he trying to get anybody with tears? Is he trying to get any actual action of, like, travesty or anything like that? That film crew sure looks like they knew. Whoever the film crew was, they sure know. It sure looks like that they knew. They knew something. So, we'll get back to the 50-second mark. We're getting up to the 50-second mark. Now, this film crew is just astoundingly good at filming flags. We've got a travesty going on. Didn't really freak out. Didn't stay right on the explosion. All it does is film flags. This film crew is astonishing. So, like I meant to say, don't try to, you know, I'm not, you know, you're going to go look up who owns that there. And it doesn't matter. They put their stuff on YouTube all the time. And then they've got their station focused on the American flag. Now, remember, all the big... Hotshot runners have already passed the finish line, so the international well-renowned runners, unless they had a real bad day, they've already went past the finish line. All this guy can do, there's a guy on the ground. Hang on, there's a person on the ground in front of this photographer, and the government is sitting here with nobody arrested. This photographer just keeps himself glued to the flags. There's a guy on the ground, check that out, guy injured on the ground. Has he filmed the guy injured on the ground? No. He's filming, who, or female, male or female, this photographer is only filming flags. Now remember, folks, if you look, if you really, I think you can find the flag that is on the building up there. That, there I, maybe it's not. But no matter what, someone's really, and then the steeple, the flag in the steeple. What is so important about 
a flag in a steeple. No one's shooting anybody. It, no one got shot that we know of. I mean, unless it comes out tomorrow that someone got shot, then we were looking for somebody in a... So somebody on a camera crew was told to film flags up high. Film flags up high. Sure, a lot of messages in these flags because ain't much worried about a person injured on the ground. It's filming flags. Filming flags, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very important thing. Let's film some flags. Hey, we got an important mission today. Let's go out and film some flags in Boston. Okay? Number one thing, Boston. You know, let's go let's go film some flags in Boston. So, factually, your government loves you, ladies and gentlemen. You're safe in the United States of America. If you would have been on a traveling expose to Boston today, and it's getting late tonight, but no matter what, it would have been nice to have talked to these guys with these cameras ahead of time because they knew something about shooting flags up high. They got every flag that you can imagine here, and they get it all on. Now, do they get worried about that guy that's injured on the ground? Don't even worry about getting the good footage. This is groundbreaking footage. Get the guy on the ground. Is he hurt? No, let's film the flags. Hey, film the flags. Hey, film the flags. No, just get the flags. Hey, it must be his director. Just get the flags. Don't get the injured guy on the ground. Don't get any travesty in. Oh, get the American flag in there, too. They got that. Let's go back a little bit. Am I getting a little bit more of the bean footage for you? So this is the bean footage, okay? This is the facts. This is the truth. Focused on the American flag at the start. Focus on the flags. And this film crew is still in the country. Ain't no problem with these guys. These guys are good at filming flags. Hey, good good flag filming. And then the Sandy hoax. And then the, so the idea of this incident's got so much stuff interwrapped around it. It's got the Sandy hoax. And I repeat, Sandy hoax. The Sandy hoax people were in the crowd. So you got a good way of a foreign anything trying to get American anything. So you got black box action at the maximum here. Because they're not worried about, do they go to show the big winners coming through? No, nope. they were right here for the explosion and to film flags. Flags are really important today, ladies and gentlemen, in Boston. As we've got three people dead and an eight-year-old. And I'm going to give you some more stuff about, the, there you got, you got to get that American flag in there. It's good that this got the American flag in there. I guess we know where the, this was in Boston, ladies and gentlemen, and it was in America. Okay. So, no matter what, we got damn good photographers of flags, okay? And film flags up high. Film flags high. Well, he was going for that American flag. That's high. We've got these, these flags are high over here. Well, let's film all these flags. Forget about the guy injured on the ground. It would be groundbreaking video. Don't film anybody that's hurt, you know? You would actually probably win some kind of a... Pulitzer or something about the tragedy or something. Hey, let's film some flags. Film some flags. Film some flags. And now we're filming flags up high in a steeple. Let's get the church involved. Let's get the religious people pissed off. Yep. Let's get the religious people pissed off. So anyway. And then, hey, well, let's piss this country off. They go back to that, too. If you watch the footage, they'll go back to pissing that off. And they're focusing, they're focusing on flags. Didn't even focus on the injured guy on the ground. Hey, there's injury, there's travesty across the fence. Don't film that. Just film some flags and a bunch of crap. Film some flags. So, it's pretty good footage. It gets kind of repetitive after a while. Beano gets on the Beano footage here, but this is the Beano footage. Hey, play that Beano footage for us again. It's the Beano. It's the Beano facts. I'll get you with facts. Facts, they ain't worried about the guy on the ground getting a video of him. Film the flags. Start a war. Do something. That's what they need to because they got to save the euro. Save the euro. Save the euro. Somebody's doing something. Save the euro. Hey, get the church involved. Get the religious people pissed off. Look at a flag. He's supposed to film a flag up high. He must have had to film a flag up high. That's what they must have told him. Film a flag up high. So some Canadian's proud and they hang a Canadian flag on a building. Was there a Canadian flag down here? Why did they know that there wasn't a Canadian flag down there? Did someone steal the Canadian flag and put it up there? What's going on? So anyway, it's all it is. 
It's not Flag Day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this wasn't Flag Day. Okay, it was Tax Day. So it's about money, something. So just one more time, so you realize that here we go. It's an important. And then I'll go show you some stuff that was probably, uh, you know, some agencies somewhere in the world, organizations or something. Secretive black op. That's why Beano Black Ops. Beano Black Ops. Yeah, Beano doesn't get involved in this stuff. But I'll give you the facts. Facts is, this guy is really good, or female is damn good at filming flags. Forget the tragedy. Tragedy. And they, hey, they didn't have, they had no idea the tragedy was going to happen. Film the flags up high. Someone must have said film flags up high. This is better than Subruder, almost. Actually, they won't lock this up for seven years like they did Subruder film. Just film flags up high. That's all you got to do. Film flags up high. So I guess that must have been what they told him to do that day. Film flags up high. This guy doesn't work for the government in the blue jacket because he's really calm. So anyway, and there was military there today. Let me check that out for you. Film flags up high. That was what the order was from somebody. You can smell it. I don't have to get repetitive. I might come back to this. Hammer it in a little bit more. Hammer. Oh, hammer and sickle. What? Okay, so black box. He's the box. He's part of it. You never get out. You never get out of the box when you're in the box. He's anti-communist. Thank God someone is. Now, I smelt it pretty good in this, and I am a bloodhound. I swear to gosh. I am the crime dog. I figured out the when someone blew up in some explosion. <laughs> it wasn't no goddamn gas explosion earlier last year. So anyway, the factual stinking real good. So anyway... And then there's the massive overreaction. And they won't they won't arrest the film crew, people. They will not arrest that film crew. You watch. They won't arrest that film crew. That film crew didn't do anything wrong. And then we got overreaction. They go nuts, though. They try to turn it into something. So here's your facts, pretty much. Okay. Good amount of what's going on. So... And remember, there was if you watch the military, there was tons of trips to all kinds of stuff that was went to Jordan recently. The Jordan, the King of Jordan, he's got a problem over there. So, see, so then, yep, yeah, you see, so then we get this headline. So anyhow, that'll get cleaned up because this will probably work. Okay, so. Yeah, so a lot of people have been visiting the King of Jordan for a while, so he gets what he wants. So, and I bet you Bino will get what he wants, too. Gold's worth, uh, uh, black gold's worth a lot more than gold, ladies and gentlemen. Black gold is worth a lot more than gold, okay? So they've been playing around with that stuff, uh, and then, then you get them playing with this. So then, factually, we'll go ahead and see what's going on with gold. We got some good uh, info here. This is a good... If you know, you can go to Reuters and look this up. They were talking about this, and they talk about a bunch of stuff. And currency, and talks a lot. You can freeze this and read this. There's a lot of good articles here, and you go check that article out, because he knows what's going on on it. And then you get this that goes on in Boston. So, uh, the oil is worth a lot more than gold. Okay, gold really, and then that's why gold is crashing, because oil is worth more money than gold is. Uh... Not as rare, not as rare. Uh, then this is ridiculous stuff here too, because uh, they're not going to they're not going to arrest that news crew shooting flags high. Shoot the flag high. Shoot the flags high. So anyway, then there's this guy here a long time ago. He was innocent. Okay, he was innocent. Knew too much. Yeah. Then he needed to make some money, so he did. Became an actor, and then if you don't have a Screen Actors Guild card, so he's not alive anymore, I don't believe. Yeah, he died in 2007. And yep, they knew something was going to happen because you see, the military was there. The BS doesn't sound stand for BS. It stands for Brigadier Sergeant. Brigadier Sergeant. Somebody knew something was going to happen. See, something overseas knows our politics too good. You see, something overseas knows our politics too good. This stuff happened in South Chicago over the weekend, okay? So stay aware that the idea that this was probably all perpetrated.
She's not lying. Who is?